Hello, it's Melanie, one half of John Horsey Horticulture. And I thought I'd stand in front of our gorgeous Acer tree this morning. It's April time, so John in this video is going to show you how to sow carrot seeds outdoors. Hello, just a quick introduction as to who's teaching you today. John is a renowned horticulturalist and qualified horticultural lecturer. He's been teaching for over 30 years and still runs horticultural private courses. We're based here in Somerset in the UK. On this channel, we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills with proper horticultural advice, be it many different techniques for propagation, how to build a wildlife pond in your garden, recovering plants if they've been frost damaged, and much, much more. If you care to stay to the end, if you fancy, I'd really like to just tell you very quickly about our lovely new venture. It's exciting. It's John's online garden academy, where you'll be able to find much more in-depth horticultural courses. Good morning and welcome back. Uh, I think spring has sprung at last, the birds are singing, the sun is shining and it's slowly warming up and uh, I think it's time we started to plant some vegetable seeds. Uh, you'll be familiar that I rather like the idea of, a, of raised beds with the no dig system whereby you keep applying lots and lots of organic matter, farmyard manure or garden compost and build up a good layer which the worms incorporate and creates a good tilth without having to dig and destroy structure and mycorrhizal structures and things like that. However, um, the, the problem always was actually sowing into that organic mulch. Uh, we overcame that uh, in a big way by growing lots of plants in small containers. Here I've got some, um, these are some broad beans which have been sown, they're just starting to come through next. And when they're ready, they'll get planted straight into that mulch. However, it doesn't work quite so well for things like carrots, because carrots have a long tap root. Transplanting is not good for them. And also the, the organic mulch does tend to make them fork sometimes. So we still grow things like carrots uh, in the open ground, the traditional way of sowing. And that's what I'm going to be showing you. So here we are, we're, uh, uh, we've got a little plot here. I'm sorry I'm having to talk over the robin, but I'm sure you won't mind that. And I, I dug this over with a, with a, uh, a fork and to be, I rather like leaving it over winter to let the frost get into it and break it down a bit. And it's come down to quite a nice tilth. I tend to think of the fork as the primary cultivation, the first turning in, and then something like the rake or even a hoe afterwards to knock it down again and get the, the tilth. And I've done that with, with the rake. And as you can see, this is really quite a nice tilth. And um, now's the time to sow. I've chosen a nice open sunny spot. That's quite important for vegetables. They do need the light. Um, they're going to be putting on a lot of uh, vegetative growth as the name implies, and uh, the light's important for that. So I'm going to put a row in uh, quite adjacent here to the, I've got an old bed there. I'm going to put a row across there. And the first thing to do is, is to mark out that row. So let's put that one down and find my... I'm lucky I've got quite this rather, rather nice uh, antique type line, but you don't need that. You could equally well use two canes and a piece of string. Um, but having got this one, I might as well use it, might not. So I'm putting down the position where I want the line to be. I'm coming out a bit from the edge there, so there's plenty of light for them. And I'm just finding a straightish line, try to keep it more or less parallel with, with the bed there. So that's marked out the, the line that I want. Now, I'm going to sow carrots, so they're not going to be too deep. It's a small seed. And the next stage is to just to take out a drill, as we call it. Now, a drill can be taken out with a, uh, a hoe. Um, I, I rather like a fork, and uh, sorry, a rake. And I just go along and take a little gentle drill along there like that. You see, not very deep. Try to keep as close to the line as you can. It's always broken down quite nicely. Here we are. And, uh, is that all right, Juno? Are you happy with that? Good girl. Right, so there we are. We've taken out the, um, the drill and the next stage is just to sow the seed. Now I've got, uh, here's some, some carrot seed and uh, I always like to knock the seed out into my hand first so that I can see how much I've got and, and what I'm doing. So I'm just putting some out like that. 
that should be fine for, for that length, probably, probably too much, but we'll see how we get on, okay? Right, so put that one back out of the way. Uh, with, with carrots, I think it's always worth sowing a little bit thicker than you really want them because you can go along and thin them out and eat the thinnings, which are very tasty. So now just taking a little pinch and gently scattering it along the row. Um, difficult to see. There we are. Just, just make sure it's evenly well distributed. And uh, as I say, I don't worry too much about it being a bit thick because I like the thinnings. There we are. That should be just right. Let's put the rest back. I'm putting it back because um, yeah. What I'd also what I also do is, is sow some more in about a month's time. Give me a succession through the year. Then we get fresh carrots all through the summer. Right. So now we just have to cover it in just gently. Not too deep. We only really want to cover the seed by its twice its own size. So we come along here and just gently cover that in and then firm it down. Put that in there. We firm it down because the seed needs contact with the soil to bring the water to germinate. It needs heat, which the sun hopefully will do. It needs water, which it can get by contact with the soil. That's why I'm firming it down. And oxygen, um, hopefully that will, that, will, that will make its way in because I've not been pumping it down, I'm not standing on it. I'm just gently tapping it. And as soon as we get some rain, that will settle all down and start the germination process. So the last thing I need to do before I can finish is to uh, put some labels in. And uh, Here are my labels. Remember to put one at the other end because uh, sometimes you forget that and that's uh, I have actually done a double row doing that. So put one in that end and then this end. Now, on my label I put um, this carrot, a little nance. Yeah, so we have to label it. Um, I just put on what the vegetable is. Um, the variety, little nance. Simply because you just need to know what does well and what doesn't do so well and also what's early and what's late. I put the source, in this case it's Mr. Fothergill's, and the date, the 25th, the 4th, 1923. Sorry, 2023. Right, so there we are. Now we just wait for the uh, germination to take place, and the next stage will be thinning them out and eating the little thinnings. Well, we do hope you enjoyed that, and we've been able to help you with sowing carrot seeds outside in spring in your garden. In the description below I've put a link to John's Online Garden Academy. It's a brand new venture that we're setting up and if you really do want to increase your horticultural knowledge with a good comprehensive horticultural course please take a look. No exams, no written work, no assignments. Because of that John's been able to expand his diploma in horticulture which has been developed over 30 years of teaching to what his students want, what his students have asked for. At the moment of filming it's April 2023 and so we're still developing the courses. There will be shorter courses and longer courses but there's already something there to look at if you would really like to get started. In the meantime thank you so much for joining us here in Somerset. We've loved having you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time.